Okay, good evening and Ram Ram to all of you. Uh, now, today our uh, target is uh, file I.O. and hardware resources. Uh, in the last uh, uh, session, uh, we have seen how can we write and create, how can we write a file, how can we create a file, how can we create a folder, right? And how can we create a file and folder dynamically? That's everything I explained. Today, uh, we will go ahead from the same play, uh, phase. Okay. So now, today, first of all, I am going to show you how easily you can write, uh, you can store the data. So for that, first, I am going to create a data acquisition setup. Right click, come into the signal processing. Sorry, right click, come into the express. In this express, you will get input. And in, in this input, you will get simulated, simulate signal. So take the simulate signal and place here. When you will take the simulate signal and you will place, you will get this sign. You can change the sign, square, triangular, short, or this, uh, short root or DC. So here I am taking the sign. Now press the OK button. This system will generate a sinusoidal waveform. The system will generate a sinusoidal waveform. Great. Now look at here. This system can generate a sinusoidal waveform. Let's run. Is generating a sinusoidal waveform? Here, come here and take, sorry. Right click and create the control. Convert it into the knob. It's about the frequency. It's about the frequency, right? Now run the program and now you can see I can change the frequency and you can see the signal is up, okay? also changing. Now I want to store the data. Suppose it is a, it is a runtime data. Tomorrow I will try to cover the real time data acquisition. So be here tomorrow. Now right click, come into the file IO. You can see a right measurement file is there. Click the right measurement file and place. When you will click this right measurement file and place, so it will take few seconds, then you will get a beautiful, uh, you will get this uh, beautiful, uh, this. A configure window okay in this configure window you will find the file name action file is already exist or not uh, file type means extension so now yes here I am going to keep the file format here I am going to keep the file format okay LVM lab view measurement LVM lab view measurement okay then TDMS transmitted data measurement TDM transmitted data uh, measurement, this one, and TDMS transmitted data measurement streaming. Now, press, come here, and go to your location, select, uh, go to your location, like uh, summer training, and here I am going to create a folder, day 23, and inside day 23, let's come here, and here I am going to save the new Nitesh, Okay, new nitesh.lvm file I had created. Press OK button and make a connection like this. After that, if I will run the program, so it will generate a LVM file for me. It will generate a LVM file for me. Let's see. Where we'll get? We'll get that LVM file in here uh, in the day 23. Look at here. Here I am going to run the program. Now you will see. It will gen. It will gen. Okay, it's generated a LVM file. LVM file for me. And now, if you don't, if you are not able to open and read the file, so we can change the file as per our requirement. I am going to change it for the Microsoft Excel format. Come here and press the OK button. Now run the program now you can see it's generating an excel file are you able to see it's generating an excel file it's generated an excel file and in this excel file you will uh, get this same data 
you will get the same data clear okay look at here again i am coming to the block diagram and opening the same uh, right to measure and file double click and open here i am going to take the timing one column per channel one column only done run the program so you will get new nitesh uh, folder is here sorry our my file is here and easily i can open the program and now you can see it will give you the complete time in okay time interval information okay it will give you the time interval information clear great so it is not only about the one signal you can store suppose you want to store more than this signal suppose i want to uh, square I want to do a square of the signal. If I will make a square of the signal, and if then after that square come into the express, come into the signal analysis, sorry, signal manipulation, signal manipulation, merge signal, place here. Still you can display, still you can display both the signal and you can store both the signal run the program what is the function name function name is the merge signal or run the program now you can see now you can see this blue one the blue one is my square signal this blue one is my square signal square okay it's blue one is my square signal and red one is my sinusoidal signal right so now if you will come here and open the folder so you will get we got the both signal here both the signal on my excel sheet in this way you can store the data very easily okay it is my square signal and it's my sinusoidal signal we can take the both data and we can plot and we can check it clear okay so now in this way we can easily store our data in this way we can easily store our data so here um, data r e c o r data record now here i am taking one more program okay now here i am taking one more program and program is create index okay look at here i am taking a new vi in this new vi i am take writing a new program and program is right click come into the file io now i am going to read till today we have write a program to read sorry write only till today whatever the program we have developed that is only for the write now i am going to read first time here i am taking the read okay and here i am going to target the same platform i am going to the same folder and going to target the same platform uh, like summer training Okay, day 23, and I am going to target the LBM signal, lab view LBM signal, and press OK button. Lab view LBM signal, and press OK button. Clear. Now here, I am going to the front panel. I am I am taking one new waveform graph here, and I am going to display. I am going to display. Now, come here. I am going to keep it and run. And now you can see we are getting a sinusoidal signal here okay why because in the first attempt i had generated a lvm file with this sinusoidal signal now look at here here i am coming block diagram i am opening this right measurement file opening the right measurement file and now i am going to change the target and target is lvm and press the ok button after this LVM, after the targeting this LVM, I am going to run the program. And now if I am going to run the program, and now here I am running. 
Now you can see same data, whatever the data we had generated, same kind of data we are able to extract. The signal is like this. So we can get this, we will get the signal like this. Okay. So now you can see how easily we can record, we can store or record the data and how easily we can uh, <coughs> extract or read the data. Now I am going to the next example. Save data data dot just second DAT data R E A D read. Now come here. Now as like the last session i am going to show you how we can write how can read how we can read any of the program okay how we can read any of the program so look at here how we can read 